Even though the iPhone 15 is still three months away from its anticipated arrival in September, excitement is already rising among fans. As usual, Apple has held off on officially announcing anything about the upcoming flagship device until the official launch event. However, a ton of credible rumors about the iPhone 15 have surfaced, offering a wealth of information for discussion and speculation. In order to give you a head start on what to expect from Apple's future standard iPhone, we have put together a thorough guide that includes the most recent rumors, speculation, and predictions around the eagerly awaited iPhone 15. Let's start with the design. The iPhone 11 Pro Max was the last model to feature a curved edge display. However, there have been leaks suggesting that the upcoming iPhone 15 might bring back the curved design, despite reports indicating that the display will still be flat. Visual representations of the potential iPhone 15 model known as dummy units display device us with rounded edges that resemble the size and shape of the current iPhone lineup. Moreover, there are speculations indicating that all variants of the iPhone May 15 feature slimmer and curved bezels. Additionally, the camera module on the back of the iPhone 15 is expected to undergo yet another redesign. Although specific details regarding the changes are still unknown, except for the fact that it might be a bit larger and thicker compared to its predecessor. Notably, the iPhone 15 Pro could see a significant upgrade as early visual representations depict a doubling in the size of the individual camera lenses compared to the previous generation. Apple is considering the possibility of replacing physical buttons in the iPhone with solid-state buttons that provide haptic feedback. This technology has already been implemented on the home button of certain previous iPhone models. Initially, there were rumors suggesting that the premium version of the iPhone 15 would adopt this feature for the power and volume buttons as well as the sound switch. However, recent reports suggest that Apple might delay this change until late 2024 due to potential technical challenges. Nonetheless, there's still a speculation of the sound switch in the iPhone 15 Pro could be replaced by a versatile action button, which users could potentially customize and utilize for controlling the camera, among other functions. Now apart from the buttons, the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max are expected to move away from the stainless steel construction and adopt a titanium build instead. Alongside this change, the chassis design may deviate from the boxy form and embrace slightly more rounded edges. Given that Apple recently enhanced a wide lens from 12 megapixel to 48 megapixel, significant changes in the camera department for 2023 are not anticipated. It's possible that Apple might rely on Sony's latest image sensor which effectively reduces over and under saturation issues while there is a chance of witnessing new camera shooting modes or other features. There are no reports suggesting a substantial overhaul of the camera system at this time. As for the chipset, Apple began a trend with the iPhone 14 series, with a regular iPhone mouse received slightly older chipsets compared to the Pro models. While the iPhone 14 Pro variants were equipped with the A16 Bionic chip from 2022, the regular iPhone 14 and 14 Plus had to make deal with the A15 Bionic chip from 2021. It's expected that Apple will continue with this strategy in an effort to drive sales of the Pro models. Therefore, it's likely that only the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max would be privileged to feature the upcoming A17 Bionic chip, while the regular iPhone 15 models will likely stick to the A16 chip. In short, while the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus is expected to be largely similar differing mainly in terms of screen size and battery capacity, the Pro models could potentially begin to establish distinct identities by introducing exclusive features such as a periscope camera to the Pro Max variant. The iPhone 15 Pro could position itself as a mid-range premium option, while the Pro Max takes the spotlight of the highest end offering. Consequently, the standard iPhone 15 and 15 Plus models might be positioned with a more affordable price tag, emphasizing their status as options with relatively lower end features compared to the Pro models. Thanks for watching our video. Like, comment, and share with your friends if you find this video to be helpful. 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.